The school has them a go and body in a school, you know. Right now, you know. If I don't know if them a use a tub up each other, them a go on with the SEX thing, you know. Them a say SEX video on social media triggers Sisoka probe, you know. Yeah, man. I don't watch them video, you know. I don't see it, you know. And I don't want to see it, you know. But I be a them look a thing I go on right here from what? Bag of things, bag of they have to make a statement If I no bag of things, TV, it no make sense A bag of things, TV, I run things all the time <laughs> Bag of things, TV, media And the people, them for stop sending out them video ya. You understand? Because once a man received a video or a girl received a video and send it to a next person, send it to your friend, send it to your friend, you just a copy it and a paste it and a send it all over the place. And it's a crime in itself, you know what I'm saying? Ladies and gentlemen, cops reissue warning to persons posting child, P-R-O-N. Child sitting in you know, a child do go do go business, then you know, want to see them video there all over the place. And a matter of fact, they enough not all over the place neither. You understand me? I say, so they hide them and they in them of a whole back for certain things. Because the teen them are misbehave, you know. And this picture in question, you know, is not the school, you know. I want you guys to know, say, I know the particular school in question. But a student, them man, I go out with some misbehave, you know. What for misbehave, you know, go on, you know. I can't tell people the police are appealing to members of the public to desist from sharing a video of a teenage girl doing some dugu dugu thing that was streaming live over the social media platform on Instagram. Members of the public are reminded that it is an offense for which they can be charged under the Cyber Crimes and Sexual Offenses Act, the police said in a release. You know, yeah, man, it's a big crime, man. Once you take it and I show you up and down. And I said, watch, I look on the video, you look at the video, I your next man a big trouble that you get yourself in. See? They misbehave in your stop and the parents them have got call in question to you. Know. Where parents then there? See? Because right now, everything can leave, but the teacher them alone. You know. The parents them have to take care of their kids and watch them, check up on them. See? Now, here what I must say now, anyone with information that can assist investigators to establish an identity for the other woman and a man that are seen in the video is being asked to contact the Center for Investigation of Dugu Dugu and Child Abuse Sydney. You know. And I must say you can contact Sisoka at Crime Stop at 311. You know. Yeah man, reach out to them because they may look up me if you put on a man as I know in a man. See? I be a misbehaving and bad behavior thing I go on. Come here, I see some video with him a tub of picture, you know, blood up everybody, red syrup and splash out all over, you know. And the pitney them have some big knife in a school. I all them get them a big knife there through the compound gate. The security guard they not did it. Nobody not work. What is going on, man? When we are go to school, you can't carry their knife there in a school. I'm see look up in the back some blow wall, big knife out of them with. I watch a video where I see a girl back out and big knife out of her waist, you know. Me I say where they blow all this. Oh she get that the big knife to throw the gate, you know. Yo, me I tell you some breeder sitting there going in high school them right now. Jar Rastafari, I can't understand anything. Yeah. Now, ladies and gentlemen, they might look for one four-year-old girl in a Kingston, you know, gone missing since Monday. I wanna know so when the pit then gone missing in a Jamaica and just that or some wickedness to behind you, you know. When you watch what they must say right now in the paper. Kingston, Jamaica, the police have activated a high alert for four-year-old Melania Morgan, a student of Dulwich Avenue, Kingston 8, who has been missing since Monday, June the 27th. Melania is of brown complexion, slim built and about four feet tall, you know. Yeah, man, you know, bring back the people them pit them on. Wicked criminal, you take away people them pit them in a Jamaica, you know. And then you find the pit them, everything already done. See, they mash up the people them life, family ball, and everything gone in a chaos. But you come right back down to appearance them sometime, because I never did get to report this story, you know. There was a baby walking in on the street. How oh, comes a baby just let go in the street, so where parents then there? I mean, I read back the paper, you know, because I never did get to do the story. Like the mother or the family or some guardians, I said, boy, anything could happen to anybody else, and this and that, and Rosparous, not and all. Nah, man, this couldn't happen to anybody else, man. Yeah, right now, Little Pitney's not supposed to get to in the streets. Care I could have licked down the Pitney and killed the Pitney, you know. You understand? The people them of Jamaica, Africa, whole and Pan, and kids, you know. Remember what they want story come out with a little baby dying, you know. They must say, boy, they lick a Pitney, you know. Went next door. 
how can I look up it went next door? I think the little baby was probably three or four or something like that went next door. A big people alone went next door, man. Little people stay in the yard with them parents and look upon them and I watch them and I say, what is going on? So Jamaica and Kaylee's parents, them now, I've got to step up the thing you now, you understand? You have some serious Jamaican parents still, you know, where I do the right thing and I watch them picnic and I take them yeah yeah for them. But though you have some little careless one with Ghana party, Ghana passa passa, Ghana weddy weddy, left them picnic for go next door, left the picnic them lock up the door and Ghana I dance them uptown Monday them and the picnic them burn down a blow up place with a candle. We see that already. I report story like that already, you know. Where good parents in uh, Jamaica have got to stand up now. And cuss out some of them look like idiot parents that were not doing the right thing, you know. You understand? You know what I think I go on. I believe say the young people they must have kids and now. No for them young people you have no responsibility in their head. They're not responsible, you know. Saying no for them shouldn't even have kids in the first place. That I want next thing to you know. So when they get the kids now, they don't know how to watch over them. They're never ready. You understand? They still want to run up and down all over the place and the pity them of your parent their own self. Most of them kids are right now grow up in Jamaica, they must take care of their own self. Seeing? And them if you look out for their own self, the parents then they are all over the place. I don't be a madness. No, only watch what I go on now. They must say no. Reports are that Belania was last seen at school about 2 p.m. wearing her school uniform, a blue dress, and a pair of black shoes. Anyone knowing Melania's whereabouts is asked to contact the Grand Spain police at 876 775 1795 or police 119 emergency number at the nearest police station. So I walk on this, so how comes the pitney was seen at school? I know them can't see pitney, where pitney gone, what is going on, where parents and the way teachers and guardians. See? Ooh, I look over at pitney them now. Then left on their own. This little girl went to school by herself. And all of them sit there, take bus or taxi and go by herself. Our parents responsible for take them to school and take them back home. We have to know these things. It come like say, boy, kids, they might grow their own self and now. Be a madness, I go on and say. Cha Rastafara. Only give me some like on that video. Big and serious. Bang things made that TV. And also, I want you guys to subscribe to the channel now. Who not subscribe yet? Member, if you do so, saying 100,000 around the corner, the channel will get bigger and bigger. See you where because we know saying so, you know, we're on a mission. A serious mission with the pun. Saying, watch what I go on now. At this Jackie, the massive boy, witness a murder. You know? And don't want to report you and see it. You now in getting yourself in a big trouble. This Jackie charged for not reporting murder that he witnessed. He never didn't know that there was a charge for that. You have to tell the police where you're witnessing. A 34 year old, this Jackie has been charged with imprisonment of felony after he allegedly witnessed a murder of a man you know, on Andrew Penn Lane in St. Andrew on Friday, August 21, 2021, and did not report the incident to the police. Them. Charges Kevin Campbell, otherwise called DJ Extreme or Slick Jack of Barbican Road in St. Anjo. Cheers and peace, this is out here. I don't know if I'm catching, catching cowards still and I'm afraid, you know. Kind of jump you can have to watch how you set too much still, you know. But at the same time, you have to help fight the crime too. When you can't lift up the crime, then for the police them alone without to not help the police them, man. Fight the crime, man. For you witness certain things, tell them, man, even hide and tell them, man, them. You can't easily see a police on the road and pinch and tell him what I go on. Yo, squaddy, let me show you all the vibes. Hide in a one corner and pinch the police and tell the police them what I go on. The police them were glad for here for a year, you know. And all always telling them, say, when you don't have to go in the public or make a call, you can go in a one fall club, go on the cellar and wrap up in a one crocus bag and make a call. So this is why this money get a charge because he believes a boy. He couldn't do nothing about it. Nah, man, I'm enough things you can do in a Jamaica, man. The Jamaican people, they must be help fight a crime too, you know. They must have reported that Campbell witnessed the shooting death of Duane Francis, otherwise called Troy, and allegedly made no effort to report the incident to the police. You know, swear me, I tell you, you know? He also been charged after a witness statement that were recorded listed him as having been present at the scene when the crime was committed. My youth, you have to step up your thing. You can't be a Jamaican citizen and not turn up for your right, man. Saying, you will not turn up for your wrong and you will not know, stand up for the right. And that's a problem, you know. Jason Wellington was previously charged with the murder 
The police are reminding citizens that it is an offence to have knowledge that a crime has been or is about to be committed and not report it or take steps to conceal the crime. Big problem. And then a man go come on and blame the police. The man say money no, I do not want to care or help. In a foreign country, money no, I see certain things and not tell the police them. Yeah? This is why no one want to go a foreign country go get to themselves in a big trouble. Because you know, try to commit crime up there and it not work. But you know, things so you can work at Jamaica. Good step by the police, them. This is really nice. And the money with their Jamaica, I see I'm blind here and there. People they feel like a boy. Them not to help fight crime. They feel live up everything for the government and the police. When you in a big trouble, you know, not to help fight crime, man. No one get locked up and charged just seeing where. Because you have to do better. You understand? I bought that things media TV, man. Up and running, like and share. Bang, 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 bang. I got things media TV, man. Thank you for watching. Make sure you share it. Make sure you subscribe. Press that notification bell to stay updated, man. Jamaica.